welcome once again to my YouTube can solve video tutorial. I am Choma also and so many people call me Chimmy. Okay, in this video, I'll be showing you how to achieve a layered dress or tiered dress with minimal fabric. So many people shy away from this particular design because they feel, you know, you need so many fabric or so a lot of fabric for it so you don't have to really use too much um, fabric if you know how to get this done so i'm going to be showing you how to achieve this layer dress tear dress or we'll call it whatever in this video in this video we'll probably will be doing the cutting and maybe the stitching in the next video i'm not sure about that or we'll just do the entire thing right in this video uh i want to say if you stopping by my channel for the first time you're definitely welcome Please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already, like and share this video yeah, with your friends and family. You can check out my website at www.youtubecancel.com and you can follow me on Instagram as well. My Instagram handle will be somewhere you know, on the screen and if you're ready, let's go do this. So you do your normal sewing supplies, your scissors and tape and every other thing. You definitely need your chalk and your measurements. Okay, so I'm just going to go right into this and we need to do some calculations so that we'll know exactly what we're doing. So the dress we're making looks like pretty much like this. Okay, it looks pretty much like this. All right, so the dress we're making look pretty much like this. From here, we have the half length, and then we have three layers. So this, you can divide into two. You know, this is the bodice, and this is the skirt part, like, this is the skirt part. Okay, please forgive my writing, all right? So we can divide it into two. This is the bodice, and this is the skirt part. Now, I'm not going to really talk much about this because I know everybody, or most of you on this channel, you know have an idea of how to create this particular part i have a video on how to create your basic bodice pattern and even how to create your princess seam you know i actually did a video recently on how to make a maxi dress with trendy sleeve and there in that particular video i showed you how you can create you can achieve this up part okay so now we're going to concentrate on this part which is the lower part, that's the skirt part, and th this is three tiers or three layers. So we have the first, the second, and the third layer. Okay, so I told you that I'm going to show you how to achieve this with minimal fabric. A lot of you start the first layer, like this is the, the, the first layer from the top here, and then the second layer, and then the third layer. Doing that, you will see that you need to cut, you know, a whole lot of fabric to achieve this. So I'm going to show you how you can achieve it, you know, right now. But before I go into that, we need to do some calculation. The full length, I have to tell you the measurements that you need. You need the full length of your dress, which I'm going to be using 43 inches for mine. Okay, so for the full length, I'm going to be using 43 inches. And then the next thing you need, you need the shoulder to the waist. That's your waistline or your half length measurement you know whatever you call it mine is 16 inches so from here to here from here that's up here to here is 16 inches okay so now um from here to here to achieve to know what you need for this other part now we're going to subtract 16 from 43 okay so 43 is the full length and 16 is the half length so we're going to subtract 16 from 43 to give us the skirt part because now we don't know what the skirt part is. So 43 minus 16 is going to give us um, 27. Okay, so 43 minus 16 is going to give us 27. So it means from here to here is 27. 27 inches. Okay, so now what we're going to do because the layers are on the skirt part, right? We have to divide the 27 into three because it's three layers that's what we're working on so we're going to divide the 27 which we've gotten now for the skirt part into three and when you do that we're going to have nine okay so 27 divided by three is going to give us nine nine inches okay so it means that this first layer is nine second layer nine and the third layer is also nine which is going to give us a total of 27 inches okay so now, like I said, I'm going to concentrate on this particular skirt part. That's what I'm going to concentrate on, okay? So now what we're going to do, definitely when you're cutting, you're not going to cut this 999, 
you're not going to just cut 999 because if you do that you're going to need it's going to be shorter because you need um allowance for whatever you're making so we're going to make this about 10 10 10 so it's going to be 10 you know inches for each layer okay so this is how what we're going to do so what you have to do right now is to cut out the full length on your lining you're not going to use your main fabric so i'm going to be cutting out 27 on my lining that is a circle skirt we're going to cut it out as a circle because this is a circle skirt it's actually a half circle not a full circle so we're going to need your waist measurement okay so we're going to cut that out on the lining then we're going to go ahead to cut you know the layers on the fabric i'm going to show you how this is all going to come together so now to go into this particular skirt part I have a video already if you check somewhere down 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 there you'll see a video on how to create your circle skirt so or how to make a circle skirt if you don't know how to make a circle skirt you can actually get that you know here it's a simple way to make it without calculating too much but I'm going to show you how to create this here so we need your waist measurements the waist measurements for this particular dress I'm making is 32 32 inches so now what you're going to do is that you're going to find the radius of your circle because like i said we're making this it's a circle skirt okay so the length of our skirts now is 27 plus 3 inches for seam allowance which will give us 30. now the waist is 32 so 32 we're going to add 2 inches of seam allowance for you know zipper and any other thing so we're adding 2 inches which is going to give us 34 Okay, so 34 is the waist measurement that we're working with. Now, this 34, we're going to divide it by 3.14. Okay, so we're dividing it by 3.14 because it's a half circle. Okay, so when we divide um, 34, which is the waist measurement, by 3.14, we'll get 10.8. So 10.8 is what we're going to have here. Now, 10.8 is the radius of our circle okay so we're going to use 10.8 as a radius of our circle and we already have the layers which was 9 that is 27 divided by 3 because it's 3 layers gave us um, 27 divided by 3 gave us 9 so 27 divided by 3 9 so we added 1 inch allowance plus 1 which is equals to 10 okay so it means that each layer will be 10 inches each layer will be 10 inches and it's going to give us a total of about 30 but after sewing we should have about 27 inches because that is what we need so i hope there's no confusion here okay so when you fold your lining into two you're going to fold it again so now you have four layers of fabric when you do this so you have four layers of fabric on a fold so we're just trying to cut out the circle or you have circle so we're going to find out the we've already measured our radius what we got is 10.8 so we're going to measure from the top here to where we have 10.8 okay so 10.8 should be around here okay so you just check this 10.8 on this other side should be somewhere around here so 10.8 is almost 11 okay so we just have the 10.8 10.8 here as well 10.8 here as well okay so now you connect it please make sure your measurement is accurate if it's not accurate let me just take all this off If it's not accurate, you're going to have problems. Okay, so since we've measured, so this is our waist measurement right now. Okay, that's the waist round measurement. At the end of the day, when we open this, we're going to have 34, 34 inches, which is what we need, you know, for this. So um, the next thing we're going to check before just cutting this out is the length you know so the length is actually 27 inches right okay 
So I'm just going to check if I have up to 27 inches. And seven inches you're checking from here, from this part here. So, not from the top. 27 inches is here. Okay, so we have up to 27 inches here. Now I'm going to measure from this top. So here I have about 38 inches. So I'm just going to go like so and measure 38 all through. Okay, so before I cut this out, I'm just going to cross check my measurement one more time. So from here to here, which is a skirt part, we have 27, okay, 27 is what we needed. And we divided it by three and we got nine inches, even though we've added one inch to make it 10 inches, I'm going to add that on the fabric. Okay, so here I'm going to mark nine here because there's no allowance on this lining. I'm going to be adding allowance and I'm going to come down to mark another nine. Okay, so I've come down to mark another nine. It means now, right now that, you know, this is going to be the first layer, this is going to be the second layer, and this is going to be the third layer. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead to, this is 20 from the top here, the first layer is about 20, so I'm going to go ahead to mark 20 all through this way. So I'm going to check it out one more time. So it's not up to 20, it's about 19.5, and I'm going to mark 19.5 all through. Now you might be wondering why you have to do all this. You have to do all this to help you cut out the layers without cutting it out on your fabric and wasting your fabric so that's why I told you I'll show you how to create the design without you know using so much of your fabric okay so this with max here this is going to be the first layer you see we already have it here so by the time you want to cut it out on your fabric it's not going to be too difficult now the second is 27 inches now we're going to mark 27 all through as well Okay, so now I'm going to connect the 27, okay? So if you look at this now, we have one, two, three. Now I'm going to cut out this part and I'm going to show you what to do with the rest. Okay, so I'm going to cut out this part. All right, so now we have our waist. Now the second part I'm going to cut out is I'm going to cut out this one and I'm going to cut it independently. So I'm going to cut out this part like so. And I'm going to cut it out like so. Okay, so this is what we have for the first layer this we're going to cut it out we're going to place this on our um, fabric and on the main fabric and we're going to cut it out now when we cut it out we're going to be attaching it this is nine inches but we're going to cut out ten inches and when we cut it out because of seam allowance and everything we'll attach it here okay we're going to join it to the lining we're going to join to the lining so the next layer we're going to cut out is that we're going to cut this second layer out but I'm not going to be separating this I'm just going to fold it like so. I'm going to fold it like so and cut it out on my Ankara. For the second layer, I'm going to just fold it in, place it, you can use space to hold it, cut it out on my Ankara fabric. And then we have the last layer. The last layer, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, remember that you can't cut it to be the same length. Even when you fold it, when you fold it, you know, this last layer, for example, you can use pins to make sure you have exactly here. This is nine inches by our measurement, right? I'm just repeating this so that you don't get confused. So this is about nine, right? But when you're cutting out, please, you have to cut it about 11, uh, 10 or even 11 inches. It all depends on you because you want it to overlap properly so that the lining does not show. The lining will not be in focus. So you're going to 
extend this instead of cutting out um, nine we're going to cut out ten or probably we're going to cut out eleven for me I would advise that you even cut out more you make it about eleven or even twelve inches now when you do that you're just going to move it in a little bit more instead of attaching the the material to this line here we're going to sew it here and the second one is already there so it's going to help that the lining inside is not going to be visible so I'm going to go right into the cutting Then I have the first layer and this is going to be like this because I told you I added some more about three inches so that it can overlap then I have the second and the last layer so basically it's going to be overlapping itself like so okay if there are any excesses that you have on the way you're going to just trim that off and you see you have a very beautiful design so I'm going to show you how to go about stitching this you know so that they can really stay on their own so this particular first layer that we cut out from the lining unfortunately we're not going to be using it we're going to be using it for something else maybe on the you know upper parts for the sleeve or whatever it is so we're not going to need this anymore now we just need only this part we we'll only need this part because we're going to be attaching this to this and then the remaining one the second one is going to go somewhere up here and you see how it's going to turn out so I'm just going to go join the first layer which is this one to the lining okay so I'm going to join the line the remaining lining you know I left the lining like so I didn't want to cut it out and I'm going to attach it to this last one so I'm going to attach it you can see it's a long so and I'm going to show you how it looks and how where I'm going to attach the other ones I'm going to go about it so after attaching that the most important thing also to attach will be the second layer and then the third layer so I'll go do that my sewing machine and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like okay so this is what I, I have achieved for the first layer you see instead of using your main fabric to cut out all this you know so I've you know used my lining to cut from here to here and then I've added my main fabric to the to the halfway so this is what is going to be visible because this is the second layer and we're going to attach the second layer here like so so the second layer is going to come you see why I said you can add more so that this is going to overlap and nobody's going to know that it's the lining that is actually in here so you're going to attach it like so this is the line that we have so you would extend it so you extend that line you see how you know when you attach this we're going to have the second layer okay so if you have you can even make it more so that when you hem it the lining is not going to be visible nobody's going to know what is inside in there and that's a way to save fabric instead of cutting the first layer from here to that point the second layer from here to this and third layer you're going to need a lot of fabric to do that and this is the last layer this is the last layer so I'm going to attach the last layer I'm going to go to my sewing machine and join the three layers and just show you guys what the three layers um, looks what the three layer looks like so the outcome you know after sewing the three layers and you know this is a scared part like I told you you can see how nice the layers are and you don't have to use too many fabric if you don't want to if you use this method it will help you to use a whole less I mean of fabric I just love the outcome. You can do, you can make this as a skirt if you don't want the upper parts, you know, attached to it. So you can make this as a skirt, or you can even make it as a dress, you know, and you know, a dress that looks like this. So whatever you want. I haven't hemmed mine, so I'm going to be hemming mine about one inch. Okay, so you can make yours a little bit longer. The allowance that you add, 
you know we actually use nine inches so you can make yours at the end of the day when you're cutting the plain fabric about 12 or 13 inches long so that by the time you hem it you know you still have um you don't have to worry about the lining you know being visible you can also use your horse hair braid or pinoling on the layers and trust me it's going to be really beautiful i love the outcome of my um, layer skirts or layer dress and I'm happy that I don't have to use the whole six years to create this particular design so yeah if this video was helpful to you do not forget to thumbs up this video um, leave a comment below and I'll definitely see you in my next video